हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल आई हैव डन योर पीटी वन कोर्स होप ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट द मटेरियल्स एंड द क्वेश्चन आंसर आल्सो सो नो नीड ऑफ राइटिंग दोस क्वेश्चन आंसर इन योर कॉपी यू जस्ट टेक द प्रिंट आउट ऑफ द मटेरियल्स एंड रीड एंड लर्न दोस मटेरियल्स सो स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज स्टडी प्रॉपरली एट योर होम एंड फर्स्ट कंप्लीट योर पीटी वन कोर्स दैन यू विल मूव टू योर हापियरली कोर्स सो स्टूडेंट्स योर हापियरली सिलेबस यू नो इट इंक्लूड चैप्टर वन एनवायरनमेंट एंड चैप्टर टू इन साइट आवर अर्थ सो चैप्टर वन एनवायरनमेंट इज ऑलरेडी कवर्ड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर टू इन साइट आवर अर्थ so there is always a constant change that is going on underneath of our foot that is inside the earth we may not not notice it from outside but there is constant change that is going on so this chapter is all about the interior of the earth what is the earth made up of what does it contains likes what kind of rocks and minerals it has so first thing for us let's talk about the layers of the earth so to understand the layers of the earth first let's get a background on how the earth was formed it happens 4.6 billion years ago the earth dipped which nothing the earth started up as a round ball of homogeneous all the material revolving around the sun the earth is a huge sphere with a radius of about 6400 kilometers the surface of the earth is covered by rocks and water bodies but what about the inside of the earth now we will start with a kind of comparative analysis if you have ever work around with peeling an onion you would see there are concentric rays similarly to the structure of onion you have the earth's interior so as you can see there are different layers which are visible in an onion when you have a cross section similarly inside our earth there are three major layers the outermost is what is known as the crust next to crust is the mantle and the innermost is known as the core now each of these the three which is known as the crust mantle and the core are further subdivided into two sections that is the outer layer and the inner layers now let's first start with crust as i said the crust is the outermost layer so when you have the when you have the kind of outermost layer that is visible on the earth surface which in, in which includes the mountains the plateaus and the plains itself is known as the crust now this crust can be of two types one is forms that continents or the land mass and the others that forms at the ocean now one which forms at the ocean the oceanic crust is most mostly made up of silica and magnesium and it's called sima si from silica and ma from magnesium and one that forms on the continents the continental crust is composed of two materials silica and aluminium the combination of these two elements elements is known as sial si from silica and al from aluminium so at the continent you have much higher thickness which is around 35 km in contrast to ocean which is nearly 5 to 10 km deep however despite it is 35 km and 5 km we have sea crust is considered to be one of the thinnest layer among all the three layers that is crust mantle and core now the surface of the earth is also quite uneven for example mount everest the highest mountain peak in the world is 8848 meters above the sea level while the world's 
world's deepest point located in the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean is 11,034 meters below the sea. Now, as I said, crust can be further subdivided into upper crust and lower crust. The boundary that separates, separates the upper crust and the lower crust is known as Conrad boundary. And finally, between crust and mantle, you have another layer of discontinuity. What we call this? We call this as discontinuities because there is a change in the structure that is seen from on the another. So, the layers between the crust and mantle, it is known as the Mohorovicic discontinuity. So, these are the some common discontinuities that you must be familiar with. Now, we will start with the next part that is mantle. So, when we talk about mantle, again the first thing is the layer between the crust and the mantle is known as moho. Now, again mantle can be further subdivided as upper mantle and lower mantle. The boundary between upper mantle and lower mantle is known as rupti boundary. Similarly to concrete boundary that was present between the upper crust and the lower crust. Between upper mantle and the lower mantle, you have the rupti boundary. And between the crust and the mantle, you have moho discontinuity. And between the mantle and the core, you have another boundary which is known as Gutenberg boundary. So, between mantle and core, we would have Gutenberg. Now, some basic characteristics of mantle. Mantle is, an, um, mantle is around 2900 kilometers thick. It is 85 percent by volume and 64 percent by mass. It is mainly made up of iron and silicates. So the main components of mantle is iron and then we have silicates. Again there is basic difference between upper mantle and lower mantle. Upper mantle is liquid and steep. As a result, it is also known as asthenosphere. However, the lower mantle is solid and steep. Asthenosphere, we have the convection current that moves on, and this is the main source of magma. And magma is what make up the main volume of volcanic activities. So we have asthenosphere, which is the main source or main depository of magma. Now moving on to the core. Again we can divide the core into upper and lower core. The upper and lower core is again differentiated by a discontinuity which is known as Lehman discontinuity. So we have upper and lower core which is differentiated by Lehman discontinuity. Now the upper core or lower core what we call those is liquid as compared to inner core which is solid. So we have inner core which is extremely solid but we have the upper core which is liquid in nature. Now this liquidity is the main cause of the magnetic fields that are seen in the earth. So, we have the north pole and the north magnetic pole and the south magnetic pole that is visible. And this liquid nature leads to the earth's magnetism. So, this the, so this, the upper core is important. Now, core is composed of Nifi. So, Ni stands for nickel and Fe stands for iron. So, core is mainly composed of iron and nickel. It occurs at very high temperature and pressure. It contributes to 15% of the earth's volume and 32.5% of the earth's mass. And as I move to inside from crust to core, we have the pressure and density that increases towards the center of earth. Okay.